Hey Pete, what's the best deal for an everyday carry knife? I get a fair bit, um, I'm just gonna try and answer it very simply. And then of course, I will uh, no doubt devolve into a jabbering verbal diarrhea of ifs and buts and maybes. So really, objectively speaking, when you factor in the capabilities and the you know, well-roundedness, I think the best steel you can get at the minute is M390 uh, CTS 204P or um, what's the other one? CPM 20 CV. They're all kind of the same. Slight differences, but really, when it comes to holding an edge, um, being relatively rust resistant, and also being quite tough, uh, these three are all about as good as it gets. They're all solid B plus students in all fields. Dad? Yes. Um, I'll fill it up in a minute. Um, all B plus students. Uh, there is a um, uh, yeah, there's a case for maybe if you want your A in some areas, you're gonna have to accept some C's or D's in others. So maximum, for example, A plus edge retention, C minus stainlessness, patinas like crazy, um, yeah, VG10, A in stainlessness, C in what? No, I'll fill up the dog's pool and you can sit in that with the dogs. But I want to go to the pool. Nah. You're going to the swimming tonight? Yeah. Um, VG10 is like a C in edge retention and then a, um, you know, a, a in stainlessness. So there is always a balance and it's also cheaper too. But yeah, I think objectively speaking, M390 is probably the best you can get. It's a bit of a boring answer because it's one of those known things. But then because I am a steel nerd, steels that maybe even aren't as good on paper, and this is just so ridiculous, I kind of actually like them more for, for very certain attributes. So I think my favorite steel is still the uh, LC200N on my very well-loved and well-used Spidey Chef. Well-loved and well-used, but you'll see it is still apart from just having some actual crap on there now from me not washing it um, still no patina or rust or anything it's really hard to get this steel to do anything close to corrosion this one looks a bit foggy because I put work sharp marks on it when I did my test and I, um, I sanded them out and that kind of ruined the factory finish but really it's probably my favorite steel just because I love that completely insane corrosion resistance and also the edge retention is about on par with like S35VN so Really impressive stuff. So because it impresses me, I actually probably like it more when really the average user would still be better served with M390. Another steel that I really loved is K390. I love my M4 as well. I love my Rex 121. You know, the, the steels that are ridiculous. M4 for taking probably the finest edge that I'm able to put on something, for sure. Just such a sharp edge you can get on your M4. Rex 121, just ridiculously long lasting. K390, edges like M4, that you can actually like accidentally hit into gravel and knots of wood and they don't completely um, splinter away. So good tough steel. Love stuff like that as well. But then you think the other end, like we don't all wanna pay. You, any of those steels you're gonna be paying at least $150 for for the knife in it. Um, there's plenty of completely acceptable steels that you're gonna pay less. There is this thing everyone's complaining because we're so spoiled these days. Everyone's complaining there's too much S35 VN getting around. There's not enough steel variability or steel flavors to choose from. And yeah, I like flavors, we all do. But if you like flavors, just buy Spyderco knives. They use all the different types of steel. Most of the big companies are steering towards S35 VN and they're doing it with very good reason. It's a bit like how M390 does everything as a B plus student. This is a B student in really all the different categories. The ones that I can really measure anyway. Stainlessness, hard to get it to rust. Toughness, you make fixed blades out of it and batten them. And edge retention, groovy and it's not too expensive either the knives are coming down in price in S35VN it's such a good all-round steel um, LMAX is maybe somewhere between S35VN and your M390 for sure um, but yeah it's a um, you know this is common and it's really really good if this is the thing that we're all saying we wish would happen remember people would say I wish I wish just they'd get rid of all those HCRs and start just making everything out of good steels it's happening and people are a bit like yeah but I want different steels too and it's 
you, it's just what's happening and I'm sorry. Um, S110V is another great one. It's got stainlessness and um, edge retention. It's got stainlessness akin to uh, S35VN, edge retention akin to um, M4. It's just really, really hard to sharpen. That's what I find with it anyway. I find this probably the most difficult steel to sharpen apart from the Rex 121, maybe the Maxima. It's, um, it's tricky stuff. I think the chromium and the carbon and just the everything in it makes it a pretty tricky steel to, for an average Joe like me to get sharp. So that's one thing as well. You get all your more boutique specialty steels that you just don't get enough experience in. HAP40 by all accounts should be like a slightly more stainless um, K390. Like it's really, really good stuff. Just doesn't get that level of testing and level of wide use that builds up that data. That's the only other thing about that. But yeah, the steels are so good these days. People will give bad scores to knives with S30V because it's um, you know it's just old and there's better than it. Yeah, there's better than it, but. You know, there's better cars than, I know I always, I always defer to cars when I'm trying to draw analogies. There is, yeah, there's now better cars than like a 19, you know, 98 Ferrari Enzo for sure. But 1998 Ferrari Enzo is still pretty damn awesome. And it's definitely better than a, um, like a Sangyong um, or a, um, you know, some Chinese car or something with the 8CR13 MOV engine or blade steel. So it's, it's just that. You know, that thing is just, as we move past it, we like to look back at the old things we used to love and sort of say, oh, they're no longer good, but a you knife know, and S30V, it's still great. So, there you go. That's my thoughts on what the best blade still is. Objectively speaking, it's probably the M390, but then I've got all my other real nerd breakdown stuff as well. So, hope you've something to this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye now. Good job.